Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Chris, also known as Voodoo, and today I'm bringing you a new uh, tutorial, and this is how to make a Twitter header. And I'm just going to be making a Twitter header for myself uh, because I kind of need a Twitter header, and I don't really have anything. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna experiment and see what I can do. So basically, you see what I got in the top of my video here. I got VoodooGFX.Weebly.com, VoodooGFX, ESN Voodoo, and Voodoo. And I'm gonna try and do something like that. Um, so, what we're going to do, I think we're going to make it a dark gray, uh, and I'm just going to add a few, uh, not yet, I'm going to just, the thing with Twitter headers is that they're really not that big, they're really, really, like, small, they're really not very, um, how can I put this, they're not they shouldn't really be pop they shouldn't really pop out that much so I'm just gonna kinda make mine really 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 simple hold on let me just let me just get out of this little window real quick alright so I'm just gonna put my logo on here real quick because I can that's why I'm gonna do it so I'm just gonna put my logo right here, right up in this upper right hand corner, and okay. And then I'm gonna do a Control J, and I'm gonna make it bigger, and I'm gonna rotate it. Actually, no, I'm not gonna rotate it. Okay, I'm not gonna rotate it, and then I'm gonna do Filter, Blur. Gaussian blur, and I'm just gonna blur it a lot. Bring it down behind this, and make it almost invisible. You need to kind of like line it up right there. Okay, so that's that's the good part of my Twitter background. Now the next part is really simple. So we're just gonna click T, add that, and we're gonna go at voodoo underscore at ESN underscore voodoo at uh voodoo or voodoo GFX. So I'm just gonna take out the first of that and I'm gonna make it a nice white color. I'm gonna just bring this down right quick. And I'm actually just gonna make it Let's see, this is going to be my Twitch. Okay, so that's my Twitch. Okay, this is going to be my Twitter. Okay, this is going to be my YouTube. And this is going to be my portfolio uh... yeah i'm not going to put in my portfolio it's just too big so that's kind of what i want it to look like i'm actually just going to delete this and just make them the same thing really quick um, and this is only so that I can just duplicate it and get the exact length that I want. See, so now I now I know what I want, so I'm just going to put in my YouTube there. And I can delete this one, and I'm just going to put in my Twitch here. Which is perfect. Uh, so now they're exactly evenly spaced. Just the way I like it. Now what I'm going to do is, since I already made social media tags when I made my Twitch overlay, I'm just going to go and take my Twitch overlay that I've already made and just take it from there. So I've got my I've got my social media all set up. I got Twitch. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that and just br click and drag that in here. Put that right next to my Twitch one and bring that out a little bit. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and close that and grab my Twitter uh huh and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my Twitter and again I'll just put in the I'll just put the uh, these things that I used I'll just put the download link in the description of the video that way you guys can have perfect access to it and don't really have to worry about doing too much other than resizing and adding an overlay that you think will fit but that's basically it that's really all we need to do uh, for that and I'm just gonna group these all together so this was my YouTube so this one was my Twitter so this one will be Twitter this one will be Twitch okay I, I did something this one's my YouTube this one's gonna be my YouTube and this one will be Twitch and now I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my sponsors that I already have um, which is really really simple just click and drag and bring those right on over here um, and I'm not gonna make them too big because I'm not officially sponsored by them they're just a part of eSports Nation so actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in the whole graphic designer of eSports Nation that whole that whole shindig and I'm just gonna bring this whole thing right on into my uh, background and it'll fit perfectly uh, just like that but you're just you might just be saying well that's just a little bit too plain and simple for me we need to spice it up a little bit what else can we do to make it so that it looks nice and that's where the whole graphics design comes in this is really this is really just the overview of what we want to do now the whole point of a twitter uh... header is so that it kind of has some cool looking graphics so i'm just gonna hide this and i'm just gonna go ahead and add in um, a nice little point that I can you know color this in real quick I'll put it on a new layer and just fill it real quick okay I'm gonna hide that and now I'm just gonna change the color and just kinda mess around with the color so I know that I was using a purple when I was making uh, when I had my logo my logo was like a purplish color but then eSports Nation is kind of a bluish color so am I gonna change eSports Nation around uh, am I gonna do that or am I gonna like I think I might I might make it so it's going to go around with the overall blue theme uh, with a nice dark blue right here put a little bit of a dark uh, a drop shadow on it okay now we just bring this up real quick just put that underneath the layer alright so I'm just going to plop that right on in here so this is my logo and I'm just going to do control U and I'm just going to change the color real quick to a nice little a nice blue lower it up a little bit okay that looks good now I'm just going to move that out of the way of everything and just put it right there and I'll delete this and one second just control J that make this a little bit bigger and gosh you blur it put that right in the middle and just make it a little bit less opaque and that looks pretty good I'm gonna take another pen tool and just go right across this just kinda make something just kinda like some abstract line or something you know just something a little bit of fun just to like you know make um, I'll just close that and then put that on a new layer fill it bring that right down below there make that like a whitish color
And I didn't really like the way that it looked, so I just stretched it out really quick. And now I'm just going to copy it real quick. It's really simple to do. Nothing too extreme. You know how we do it here. Everything is able to be done by anybody at any skill level. And uh, I think that if, if somebody can do it from any skill level, then there shouldn't really be a problem uh, anywhere down the road. So if you can do it the way that I can do it, you're going to be just fine and dandy. So I'll just make a new layer and just fill that in real quick. Copy layer style. Paste layer style. And delete. Delete. And we've got our new... Got our secondary... So, real simple, I guess. Nothing too special about this Twitter background. It looks nice. It's going to feel nice. Um, and hopefully this helped you learn how to make uh, a Twitter background, or a Twitter header, I guess. Um, I know that they've always been kind of difficult for me to make, because they're really not that interesting. They're really too small for me. Uh, so, like, they're really not that fun for me to make because they're just way they're just too small and it's just difficult when something is too small to make it's really hard to like to like it's really hard to make something that is is just not seeable if I can't see it I'm gonna have a problem with it. so here actually I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing with this Except I'm going to change the color to a dark blue. Change the drop shadow to a white. Change the way that this. And I'm just going to change the way this drop shadow is angled. And that is that. So I'm just going to move that. I'm not going to move that over. So that's just how you kind of make a Twitter background header. And I'm going to do print size just so that's kind of what it's going to look like when you put it on your Twitter header. Uh, and I'll just move this over really quick. There's one more drop shadow just a little bit over. That way there is no conflict of interest. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video on how to make a Twitter header. If you did, leave a comment in the description or er, comment below, letting me know. Uh, it's really, it's really simple to make. Uh, I can probably make some sort of a, uh, I guess maybe I can make a tutorial, or not a tutorial. I could just make like a template for a Twitter header or, or something like that, and just give you guys a download of that. Uh, hopefully, you guys understood what I was going through. Um, sorry I couldn't get a gameplay uploaded today, I was just not having any luck, and with the first day of school it was kind of difficult to find some sort of gameplay. Uh, I'll definitely have one for you guys tomorrow, hopefully, um, but until then, you're stuck with the tutorial. Oh well, see you in my next video, peace out.